Hey everybody out there, Coach Dan Long with Get Lean in 12 and we are live and I have something awesome for you today. If you are like me and you're over the age of 35, I'm 44, I want you to pay attention because today I'm going to answer the question, can you eliminate or reduce lower back pain by just some simple stretches? The answer to that is absolutely yes and I'm going to tell you why, but first, do me a favor, say hi, right, down below. Go ahead and make a comment. Let me know where you're at. Let me know where you live. I love to meet everyone from all over the world. Here at Get Me In 12, we are all about the community and we wanna keep bringing you great information. So please say hi, right? Hit a like, hit a heart, hit a share if you love this information. Now, I have a problem. I have four bulging discs, L1, 2, 3, and four in my lower back, okay? is bulging disc. L5 is a herniated disc, and as you know, there is no cure for herniated disc. The only cure is to either have it lasered or to use stretches or any kind of things that can combat the pain, right? To get inflammation down and also use it to help you in aiding so that when you do exercises, because me, personally, I love to high intensity train. And it's one of the things that is in my, my heart, my passion, and my love, is I love to metabolically crush belly fat, right? Love crushing belly fat, and love feeling like I'm a lot younger. So if you're, in, if you're over 35, if you're in the age of 40, 50, 60, this is gonna be for you. Now, by the way, up top here, you're gonna see a link, or on the side. Don't click that link just yet, because I wanna show you these stretches that are gonna help you, and then at the end, I'm gonna show you what kind of types of exercises by going to this link at the end that I do to stay nice and fit and get the body that I desire being over 40 because I'm 44 years old. Okay, so let me get into this. Look what I have right here. So basically, I just have a regular bath towel, okay? You're gonna fold your bath towel like you can see I have here, right? Maybe fold it one more time. And then as you fold this bath towel, make it nice and long, just like so. We're gonna do four different stretches that are gonna help you with lower back pain. If you have any herniated disc, I highly recommend you definitely check with your doctor before you do any of these, but these are tremendous. Now, I do wanna say this. I have paid tons of money in chiropractic and also massage therapy to learn what I know now. And the one thing that works the most for me to eliminate tension and help put a lot less stress on my lower back are these stretches and you're gonna to get to get them today right now for absolutely free just for stopping on the feed today don't forget to say hi okay all right so let's go down to the ground now you're just gonna lay back just like this okay my left side because of my SI joint and where my herniation is my left side is affected a lot more than my right I highly recommend you do these stretches at least once every other day if you can do them every day, it's even better. You'll eliminate a lot of tension. So first, this towel I'm gonna leave right here because I wanna show you something, I'll leave it right here. All right, first, let's just do this simple. So you're gonna lean back, take the pressure off your head by leaning straight back, okay? First stretch is gonna be just like this. Interlock your fingers, come up here to your knee, bring your knee into your chest nice and slow, okay? Leave this leg straight on the ground, pull this in as far as you can, Slowly, remember, when you're stretching, those muscles could be cold. You do not want to pop one of those muscles. So I'm, as you can tell, I've been doing my stretches and I can get this pretty far back. You may be even tighter. Pull this as far as you can back until the thigh touches your chest, okay? Once you got that in there, I want you to hold that position for approximately 20 to 30 seconds. No longer than 20 to 30 seconds, okay? Once you have that all the way in and you've worked that muscle, be nice and warmed up, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna release on your knee, you're gonna put your right hand on your left knee and you're gonna start with this, this hand down on the ground and you're gonna start to pull on your knee towards your hip, okay? Now, you're gonna feel all kinds of tension in here. With me and my herniated disc, I feel all this SI joint starting to tighten up 
I mean, loosen up, and I start to feel this, this right here loosening as I pull down on this knee. Now, the object is to keep the other leg on the ground nice and flat and don't roll with it. Let the leg roll with the hip on my left side, just like so. And then, again, release the neck because my neck was getting all tensed up. Pull this down and try to do this slowly and just keep moving till you can get it about that far. Hold it and deep breaths, okay? And then exhale. So in the nose, exhale. You wanna concentrate on this. I'm talking while I'm doing this. It's not easy to do, but I want you to work to get this knee as to far down as to the ground as possible, okay? So I'm gonna let up on that because that's about 20 to 25 seconds. Back in, you can bring this back in just like so, okay? and then the knee back over one more time. Now you wanna do these each about 20 to 30 seconds and then relax for 20 to 30 seconds and then you can start again, all right? I'm shooting this video here for you, so I wanna make sure I get all of this in and I don't wanna take all your time up today. So this is two of the stretches out of the four I wanna show you, okay? The next is a figure four. You're gonna take this knee, pull it out, pull this ankle in, Bring your other knee up just like so, right? Hold this leg, then put your hands and interlock underneath your thigh, lean back and bring in the knee. Now when you do this, you're gonna feel a lot of tension down in here, okay? You're stretching all these muscles, hamstrings, you're stretching the glute, you're stretching all in, in the thigh. That's important, but it's also pulling on your lower back muscles, okay? Believe it or not, this is all affecting your lower spine and those vertebrae they love you for this okay they will love you for this trust me I have for years had so much back pain and if you do these stretches religiously I promise you it will either eliminate or reduce tr dramatically your pain okay remember 20 to 30 seconds bring this in slow and then release okay that's your third stretch your fourth and final stretch you're gonna use your towel. You're gonna to bring this just like this underneath your foot, okay? Now, the object here is to be about even on your towel with where your foot is, okay? Then, this knee, I want you to work to get this knee to straighten out, okay? Now you can see I have a little bit of a bend, not much, but slowly I'm gonna push on my thigh. Meanwhile, I'm pulling this way on my foot, and I'm keeping this from bending so that I'm stretching all of this and it goes right into the bottom of my spine into those vertebrae, okay? Now, I'm using the towel because I don't have another person here to help me stretch. And I'm, I'm sure you probably don't either. So, this leg should be on the ground. Make sure you work to get this in. Remember, slow, very slow on doing these movements, okay? Move this in, get it in, and then you wanna work to pull the towel towards your head more or less, and you're working to bring the whole leg back at an angle towards your head and feel all that tension right here. Do not do this fast. Make sure you pay attention, okay? I want you to feel the best that you can feel, and the only way it's gonna happen is to keep your muscles nice and loose. We don't want them to pop, okay? 20 to 30 seconds on this, and you can do this with one hand. You don't need two hands to do this. If you use two hands, you might pop your muscles, so be careful, okay? It just needs a little bit of tension. As you can tell, I can kind of rock that just a little bit, okay? Now, let loose. Ooh, I can feel that right into my SI joint, okay? Now, you have to do the other side. So, again, knee in. I can feel all that stretching all down in my glute, all into my hamstrings, and in my lower back, I can feel that, okay? The, the favorite stretch of mine is the next one, which is... Again, hand down, hand on the knee, bring it down, and stretch just like so. Try to keep the top of your back, which is your scapula, on the ground, okay? And you can see that this side, see how loose this side is? I can go all the way down just that fast. It just goes to show you how much tension I have all the time on my left side from having that herniated disc, which is 
pinching a nerve root normally and it causes me a lot of pain. So I'm trying to help you eliminate that pain so that you can use your body to have the body that you desire, right? And the only way that that's gonna happen is to use some exercising that I have for you in specific protocols that's geared for people over the age of 40. I'm gonna show you that in a second. So now, that's your second stretch, right? Figure four, don't forget, bring it up, just like so. Oh man, I have a lot of tension over here because I worked legs yesterday and what happens? Lactic acid starts to build up inside those muscles, right? So these stretches, I'm gonna tell you right now, we all do not stretch enough. We should be stretching religiously. And if you're not, please do so because your body's gonna thank you. All right, so there's your third stretch, right? And then your fourth stretch, again, is gonna be the towel on the foot, just like so, leg down, hand down by your side, but you wanna get that knee straight, just like so. And this side, you can tell I don't have a lot of tension. So I can stretch this pretty far automatically because I'm pretty limber because I do these stretches religiously, okay? And you wanna do just like that. And you wanna hold it 20 to 30 seconds, and remember, 20 to 30 seconds on, 20 to 30 seconds off. If you have someone that can help you with this, they can stand behind your leg, put their hand on your knee, just like so, and your foot up on your shoulder and they can bring it in. But you know, if you're like me, most of the time I don't have someone here, then I just use this towel, which works tremendously. All right, so there's four stretches for you to help eliminate or reduce lower back pain caused by bulging disc and or herniated disc, okay? Now, the thing is, is with that being said, why do I do these stretches? One, I wanna be able to exercise. I wanna be able to have the body that I desire. If my back is hurting me, I cannot exercise, okay? There's no way that I can even exercise on machines, much less alone, using body weight and doing any kind of metabolic circuit that can help me lose and shed the belly fat that I have today. Now, how do I do that over the age of 40? I use a system called the Over 40 Ab Solution. At this link above, you're gonna see it's specifically designed for the people that are over the age of 35, geared for people's hormonal conditions in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. And if your back is not hurting and you have used these stretches to help you gain your strength back and you're able to exercise, this system that's at this link up above is the exact system that you can use to help you get the body that you desire. Now, don't forget, I want everybody to say hi to me, please, down below. If you love this video, if you love these stretches, do me a favor again, hit a like, hit a heart, hit a share for me. Share this video with as many people as you can because I wanna help eliminate the pain that's out in the world. And trust me, you don't need a chiropractor and you don't need massage therapy sometimes to help. You just need simple stretches, okay? Don't forget, time to click this link up above. I wanna thank everybody from all over the world for stopping today on this feed and keep going strong.